Months after tabling an amended version of the Interception of Communications Bill, otherwise known as a spy bill in the House of Assembly, Minister of State for Legal Affairs, the Honorable Ellsworth Johnson, addressed the issue to a packed crowd at the University of the Bahamas' Harry Seymour Library. Monday's meeting comes after government enlisted the research firm Public Domain to conduct phone polling and focus group research. That research revealed that most respondents had never even heard of the bill. Johnson says this is why it's so important to have public consultations. One of the things that we all agree is that of, is of the necessity for the bill. And I think we all agree that there has to be public consultation so that at the end of the day what the government produces is in accordance with its constitutional mandate and that is to produce laws for the peace, order and good governance of the Bahamas. It's very important to have the views of the persons who you will govern to have their views in legislation because it lends a flavor to it. It represents the will and the desire of the people. The interception of communications bill is meant to replace the Listening Devices Act of 1972, which government feels is inadequate in the fight against criminals using modern technology. We're going to go back to the drawing board, look at the, and there's just a little slight tweaking, like Mr. Monroe said, he thinks every aspect of the bill should require an application to the judge. Uh, Mr. Hilton looked at the, a compa did a comparative analysis and he says, you know, this is, this is not new. It's not, uh, it's not something that has not been done before, but we have to produce something that's, that fits into the, the ethnos of, of, of the Bahamas and that's what we're doing. So you're going to see in the future where in consultation with the bar, and other civil society groups, we're going to come out to have discussions.